Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain to you the difference between a free wheel and a cassette, which you would find on the rear wheel of kids bikes all the way through to multi thousand pound road bikes. When the derailleur moves the chain in and out towards the wheel or away, then the chain will move on to the corresponding sprockets. I'm guessing you know that already. Now the difference between these two, there is a significant difference in that the free wheel here has the free wheel function built in, hence the name. The function is this, when you're pedaling along, as you're looking at the rear, rear wheel from the drive side, obviously things are gonna work in a clockwise fashion. The moment you stop pedaling, if there wasn't the clickety clack sound that you have when you're cycling along, then obviously you'd come off your bike because the pedals would continue to move. But the moment you stop pedaling, the moment your feet make your pedal stand still, there needs to be some form of function to stop the wheel driving forward. And that's where the free wheel comes in. So if you can imagine things are being pedaled this way, the moment you stop pedaling, the wheel will continue. There's your clicking, and this stays exactly where it is, therefore the chain, and thus the pedals will stay as they are. So the free wheel function that you have, the clickety-clack, is built into these. As a result, they're much cheaper to manufacture. Um, a multitude of ball bearings can be pressed in the factory, and not a lot of um, human time can go into this. It's mostly on robots, mostly in the factory, therefore much cheaper to produce, and ultimately found, no offense if you have one, on lower budget bikes. Cassettes, on the other hand, are just individual sprockets. Sometimes they're pressed together in the factory and you can't separate them, but ultimately they are separate sprockets that are slipped onto then another type of free wheel function. And that is known as a free hub. So if we're just bringing it into picture here, you can see here the free hub, the part that was built into the inside of here is actually attached to the wheel. Now you've got loads of different types of free hubs. We're not gonna go there today. This is the most common variety. And on the free hubs, I've shown you in another video that all these grooves are the same size except for one, which is ever so slightly thinner, as you can see hopefully here. And the cassettes are built in the same way so that you can put the sprockets on in the correct way all the way through to the end, whether that's eight gears, nine, 10, 11, 12. Works in the same way. Obviously you need the right depth of free hub or spaces to allow the right cassettes to fit. But anyway, I'm waffling now. The free hub, the clickety-clack sound, is built into the wheel on the cassettes. It's built into the free wheel on the cheaper ends. With the free wheel then, there aren't any grooves to slot into. There aren't any, any corresponding things where you need to, to slip into space. All you need to do is have threads meeting threads and it's just a case of screwing the free wheel onto the axle. As I said earlier on, it often comes down to cost. This is a much more cost-effective way uh, to manufacture, and that's why you find them on cheaper lower-end bikes. No offense. Anyway, that's your difference. The free wheel, the whole clickety-clack function is built in to the free wheel. When it comes to the higher end, we're talking more manufacturing time and science going into the free hub and indeed, ultimately, uh, the cassette as well. So cassette, not built in, but more versatility, more efficiency, and actually more longevity. And with the free wheels, much, much easier to be used, much, much cheaper to buy, and typically found on lower budget bikes. Can you interchange the two? No, you can't, for obvious reasons. One can't be interchanged with the other. However, you can convert wheels if you want to. Honestly, if you're gonna convert wheels from free wheel to cassette, the wheels aren't gonna be very high budget either. So if it were me, I would just go out and get new wheels anyway. Can you service the free wheels? Well, you can, but as I say, they've been pressed in a factory and there's been a fair bit of pressure put onto them. Yes, you can uh, service them. And in a later video, I'll show you how to do that. But in all honesty, while I am someone who likes to um, repair rather than replace, ultimately, if your free wheel has started to have it, then maybe it's at the end of its life and you need to move forwards. With the cassettes, it's going to be obvious when the cassettes start to wear because you're going to be having your skipping and jumping chain, which I've explained in another video. But you can also, as I said, you can adapt and you can customize your gear setup, your gear ratio, by changing individual sprockets if you wish. Anyway, there you have it. That's the main difference between the free wheel and the cassette. And in another video, if you look at my links, you will see how to remove the free wheel from a bike 
and indeed how to remove the cassette from a bike as well. I hope that all makes sense. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.